Okay guys, I wanted to do a training video. This one's really great. Uh, what I've been using actually is I've been using the new chatbot, uh, which is a messenger, which works through Instagram, uh, and it also works through Facebook. Now, it is an absolute monster, okay? I'll show you, I'll show you, okay? So I'm gonna do it, so I'm just gonna show you this now. We go into here, you'll see this is Instagram, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna set up another account. Uh, which I'm not sure I've already done this before. I think I did it already when I was showing you how to do a YouTube account. I'm going to show you how we're going to create multiple Instagram accounts. And I'm also going to show you how you can create multiple Twitter accounts. Okay, now this, this is perfectly legitimate. Okay, um, you've got nothing to worry about. All right, the only thing you've got to be worried about is if you're spamming and stuff like that. Okay. Um, you don't really want to put your own Instagram account or your own Twitter account with inside here. The reason why is because if it does get banned for any reason, well then you've lost that account. But if you keep your own account operational and you keep it off automated sort of like platforms, then you've got less chance of that happening. Okay. Although this, you know, it's it's working really really well. So what we do, I'm just going to give you a little run through. So. What I'm using at the moment is I'm using the Build Roll app, which is on number five, okay, which is this one here, which is Messenger Instagram Chatbot. It's the new one out. It's really spectacular, okay? It's very, very clever because basically you can build flows really, really easily, very, very quickly, and you can add Facebook and you can add Instagram accounts very, very quickly. Now, the only thing which it bears in mind, okay, is that when you add an account, so say for instance, if we go here, if we go back to accounts, and you'll see I've been playing around with these accounts here, all right? So what you do is you basically have to make sure first you set up your Facebook group, then you make sure that you can set your Instagram account up and you can add your Instagram account through your Facebook account. Um, and there are videos out there that will show you how to do that. And you'll see that I've actually been doing this on my mobile phone as well, where I can add an Instagram account after I've created it into my business Facebook account. Okay, so they both have to be business accounts. Okay, so you need to, what you want to do is just create a personal account, uh, Instagram, and then just convert it to business. And all it does basically is just opens up a load of analytics. Uh, it gives you different keywords that you can start to use. It's very, very similar to what you've already got on a personal account. It just gives you more um, ways of tracking things when you have a business account okay so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to click on here and I'm just going to open up this page here okay so you'll see now this is opening up these are all my Facebook groups okay which I've added into this now there's a couple which I can't run on this because I've got other uh, bots that are running I've got many app I've got a um, mini chat bot which is running so I can't add that but I can passive income and stuff like this I've got running and these ones down here on my Instagram so I've only got one Instagram account at the moment if I click on here it's going to open up this Instagram account and you can literally just check it so what's good is you can actually go into your Instagram account straight away and look at it to make sure that it's operational it's working correctly etc and uh, it's a good habit to refresh I built this yesterday this account and you'll see I've got one post five followers and 21 following okay so and literally I've, I've literally just built this okay um so you know it's it's um and i literally just put this online this went live um i'm not sure if it will tell me 38 minutes ago there you go i put this on 38 minutes ago and this is just something that i sent out um, because I'm a bit spiritual and this is actually one of my guardians okay it's one of my power animals which is the wolf guardian um, so yeah that's that's why I put that there okay but um, I was just basically setting this up so the idea of this okay is that you can create as many Instagram accounts as you like and when you've got a lot of Instagram accounts when people go into the bio they would click on this and think oh this is interesting click on this okay now this doesn't relate to my power animal which I put on there um, because I'm still playing around with it uh, and I'm trying to get a chat bot to work which is going to have a lot of spirituality well-being um, stuff in there and um, but I'm just showing you that you know the link is operational it works absolutely fine 
and it's built with inside this thing here okay so you know it works quite well so anyway let's without getting off topic i'm just going to quickly show you the thread all right what it is so if we go if we come out of here if we go back to dashboard and now if i click on account if i scroll so I, I've, the sun is on my screen, so I can hardly see what I'm doing. Manage accounts, and you see that that's what we have just show you there. So now let's let's look onto this. So if we go, for instance, right, let's use this one here. This is one that I'm building already. Okay, now if I click on this link, it will show you what I've already created. Okay, now what you basically do is it's very very easy. You just literally add bits and pieces that you want to add in so say I wanted to add another box I just click on this box here and type in another thing right and hit OK and then this box if I hold it now like that and then scroll this across and you see that there's I've only got three buttons here okay so if I wanted to create another button if I click on here and then I just click on here it says um, Oh, I'm only allowed three bit, three buttons on there. That's the reason why that won't allow me to do that. But I can still add another button in here, right? So look, add message in action. So I could click on here, and I could put message with media, and then I could put um, if I click on here, I'm gonna click on here, and then what I do is I'm gonna put a picture. So I'm just gonna drag a picture. So I'm just gonna go and get a picture, and you'll see that this gmail account solved okay so i'm showing people how to case study i'm working on here etc which if you're in limitless you know exactly what i'm talking about there all right so here look how to do instagram with an ebook so this could be perfect so we'll pop this in here open and that goes in there like that or i could have converted it to a video all right and then basically i could have had my navigate url for the video so if I wanted to say, for instance, um, I want to put a video in here, I just hit navigate URL and then I literally just paste in my URL, which is going to be my YouTube account. So it's going to be one of my YouTube videos. OK, so if we go here. And then what you do basically is you set it up so you have a trigger with inside your Facebook and once you have your trigger in your Facebook, it will work, right? But you must make sure it's very important that the, your Instagram account is a business account and your Facebook account is a business account. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, remember, you could put anything in here, right? So let's just borrow this gentleman here. He does some great traffic sources here, right? So let's just say we're going to use this one for the time being. I'm sure he won't mind for me in demonstration purposes. And I'm just going to right mouse click. I'm just going to wait till it opens up. YouTube's really slow at the moment for some unknown reason. So we're just going to let this boot up. Here we go. Now if I hit share, you'll see it's still still thinking. Try again. Share. More roofs to repair, more houses to clean, more boilers to fix. When it comes to your business, here are 10 little known traffic sources that can generate millions. Okay, so what we're going to do is visitors. we're just going to quite click on here, copy URL. All right, so I'm just borrowing Mick Meany's uh, video here, just temporary as a demonstration. Okay, and I'm going to go back into, into here, my chatbot, and I'm just going to paste that in here. Okay, control V and then save. And then what will basically up happen, and now hit save, and now what will happen, right, is that when someone clicks on here, okay, this is another thing. So what you can do here is if you click on navigate URL, um, you can change this. So see traffic sources for free. Now it only gives you 20 characters, so we'll just have to do this. Now if I click on here, other action, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on here 
and we're going to put another thing right and now hit save and what it's going to do is going to draw that link to here so now what happens is when they go through when they go through the flow okay you'll see that I've got it where it goes business model given it goes to alternative traffic methods okay and this is just a traffic system which I've built here okay and then what I've got is I've got a back button so if people get lost and they're going through this I might think oh my god I didn't want to go there I just wanted to go and see what limit is all about they can click on this link and it will take them back to the starting step so that's why it's very very important to do that okay so you can see exactly why i'm building this you can see also why i'm super passionate about um this chatbot which is available by the way for all people that have brought builder roll in builder roll premium and builder roll funnel club okay so you get this did you also know it's unlimited bots and unlimited accounts you could have hundreds and hundreds of facebook accounts setting these up so each one of these just does its job one after the other okay now what i'm um happy to do if there's any people out there that um are interested in getting builder roll okay um and they want my bot which is this bot here which i've created so basically you don't have to do anything all you basically need to do is just click on here and just change out the new links um, which are on here okay so for instance this one here where it goes across to here okay it goes across to this one and then see more link this one here is my call to action link so you just need to change these call to action links or you might even also be a member of the um, project limit list and if you are then you get 587 per sale when you sell this uh, and believe me these bots are 11 percent um, conversions okay they get 11 percent conversion rate so it's very very good and you'll see that where i've created all these it's really going to help etc see so yeah uh, you got it where it goes to mailing boss so i'm going to capture their email address and this is going to go into a newsletter etc um you might have to tinker about with it okay because you know i've been playing around with this but you know, if there is anyone that's sitting on the fence about getting Builder Roll, not only will you get £2,500 worth of my bonuses, all my memberships, all my products, me as your mentor and as um, your sponsor, but you'll also be getting all these as well and you'll be able to put these into action, just change them, word them out, etc. And you've already got then the template ready to go. You've just got to play around with these and before you know it, you're off to the races, right? So, you know, it's a very, very good way of of getting that into action okay so now what i'm going to do as promised i'm going to show you how to create an instagram account and i'm going to show you how we're going to create a twitter account okay now these are multiple accounts and also then um we can include these or add these into my facebook account and then which i won't be showing you because it takes far too much time but i'm going to show you how we're going to create multiple accounts okay so next thing i'm going to do is we're going to go to instagram okay and you'll see here that i'm now in in incognito mode or in private viewing mode if you're using um, this one here which is which is this one here okay so if you want if you want to use this one here you can there's no reason why you can't use a different browser we need to do is click on the link and then go to new in private window and this is going to open up this page here and then we could say do one in Twitter here okay so if we look at Twitter can't spell Twitter I still can't spell Twitter okay we're gonna open this up and we're gonna create a Twitter account in here so let's go here now you can't put Twitter into these chatbots as yet all right I don't think there is but I have got other means that I use um, if you're want to know what stuff i use give me a um a yell okay to say hi darren is there any chance you can show me what t twitter tools you use and i will send them to you okay but you can see here happening now join twitter today so if i want to uh, i'm going to hit accept cookies but it's not going to make any difference because the caches are out so i'm going to already have an account i'm going to use this one here sign up with phone number I'm going to put this back down here again. 
and you'll see now create your account okay so I'm going to use a female for this one so I'm going to call her name's going to be Shelley and I'm going to call her Bronson okay so it's going to be Shelley and the phone number I'm going to use email instead and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an email address first of all okay so uh, I've got one actually which I've already done right so any email will, won't really hurt so what I'm going to do I'm going to use I'm going to use this other email here I've got and this is why it's very important to create lots and lots of emails really so I'm just going to use this so this is going to be all right actually, I'm going to change it to Amy I'm going to make it Amy Bronson, okay? So it's A Wood 378A. Oh, hang on. So it's Amy. Let's just neat this up a bit. Okay, A Wood. Okay, so I'm just putting the email in now, which is 3788. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually create another Gmail account which I can show you how to do. There are videos already inside Limitless. If you're watching this inside Limitless, you may find these videos also available with inside my YouTube. Just search for them. Uh, and I show you exactly how you can make multiple Gmail accounts. Um, okay, so we're going to choose a day. We're going to choose April the 4th. And we're going to make it. 1983 okay now it's very important that you write these down for um authentically working out what your account is okay so so we're just going to change it so just give me a minute while i write this down amy bronson and i've got a wood 3788 at gmail.com and then I've got month, which is the 4th, which is April, uh, 1983. Okay, so I'm going to hit next. So get my Twitter, receive email about your Twitter account. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Personal ad, connect with people you know, not worry about that at the moment. So we'll hit next. So we've got this. Okay, so I'm now going to hit sign up. Now it's asking me for verification code. So now what I do is I go back. Um, into my account, my Gmail account. So I'm just going to go into my Gmail account now. Now it might remember me. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter because I can just put in my credentials. So this one's A Wood 3788 at gmail.com next it's going to ask me for my password just doing the password now of course I'm not going to expose my password that would be silly but as you see I write all my stuff down right you must get in the habit of doing that it's so important because if you don't what can happen is you can end up losing whereabouts you've actually put it etc okay so we're just going to go through that now okay so I'm just typing this in now I'm not going to show password now I'm going to hit next and you'll see now that I'm into my gmail account so I'm now just going to open this page up so I can see what I'm doing and you'll see that there's my verification code, which is 405427. So go back into here. 405427. Now hit next. And now you'll need a password. Make sure so I can make whatever password I want. Now we do next. profile picture so now I can pick a picture um, now what you can do here okay so I'm gonna skip for now I'm just gonna let it load up I'm gonna skip for now 
I know so I'm just going to skip for now, okay? What do you want to see on Twitter? So free interest to personalize. So this, let this do this, this is quite important. So we're going to go for business, finance, arts and culture, fashion and beauty. Now the reason I've done that is because I've classed myself as a female, okay? Okay, and uh, video games. Love Island. Comedy, that do. Elon Musk, tweet audience, protect tweets, no, don't worry about that, click next, and that's it, I've now got my account, now what it sometimes does is it does ask you to authenticate your account, okay, and I'm going to show you how we do this, so we're going to click on this, so if I go into my profile, so profile, um, it's not going to let me do it unless I Okay, well, we'll do that later, okay? But I'm basically showing how you get your account. Now, if you do need to use a a mobile phone to authenticate your account, you only have to do it once, and they know who you are. If you need to do that, then I'm going to show you a little trick, which we're going to use. So we're going to go here. Um, I need to go in here, actually. I need to go on here. And I need to type in SMSPVA. This is my accounts here okay now this is what i use it's basically um it's a, it's a dialer right you can use it instead of having using loads and loads of phones you can choose what phone you want so you can choose what what you want it for as well so you see that if we want it for twitter let's just scroll through here and there's the twitter and you'll see look 0.5 cents okay so if i click on this as soon as I click on this, I brought it for five cents. So I'm not going to do that as yet. But when I get a point where um, Twitter tell me that they want to authenticate the account, then I just come here, click on Russia and Federation. All right. Scroll all the way down because it's the cheapest one to use. And then go back to Twitter. Click on Twitter and it will come up. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to do this anyway. Um, but I've set up a Twitter account. Now we're going to show you how we're going to do an Instagram account. And then I'm going to show you how we can use that, that PVA system so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new account here okay now i'm going to call this the same person on instagram as i have with twitter okay the only difference is that the um there will be a difference on on what we're doing so the first thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to create an email address with gmail account okay so I'm gonna call her Amy Bronson uh, username um, my username could be Amy Bronzy and then my password is gonna be Um, now I'm going to hit next. Now what it's going to do is it's probably going to tell me that this is not available. Well, my password's wrong. Now I have to redo that. It's a fly buzzing around my hands, isn't it? That's probably why I made a mistake. Let's do that again. So Amy Bronzy. Okay, so Amy Bronzy went through, right? Okay, cool. Right, now, your phone number. So we've got to put a phone number in here. We need that, okay? Recovery email address, I'm just going to put a support at darrenbrown.org.uk. And then the date of birth, we're going to use exactly the same as what I used before. So I'm just going to go back. So I'll bring it down in here. So you want to keep the day of birth the same, which is quite important, which was April the 4th, 
nine eighty three. So we're going to go for the fourth April nineteen eighty three. Gender's female. Why else? Don't worry about it. Now we've got to get past this bit here. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to here and we are going to get a phone number okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll all the way through here now first things first okay you can use different ones of these if you use united kingdom okay and we scroll through to gmail you'll find it's 40 cents okay if you use a british one if we use an american one you'll find it's two dollars and fifty cents so you can see it goes up exponentially so now if we use Russian Federation on Gmail it should be just twenty five cents well it's less than that fifteen cents okay so that's the one we're going to use alright so we're going to hit this one here we're going to click on get number hear that bleep when we run back up here you'll see that this is our number that we're using so we grab this Copy. Now remember, each Gmail account that you set up, you have to have an individual phone number. Okay, you cannot just use this number and try and set up five accounts. It won't work because it has to have a unique number. All right. And the idea that you put in an email address is a recovery email address that has to be one that's your own, uh, which you can easily get access to. Otherwise, this won't work. Okay. So we're going to do now scroll through and look for plus seven which is Russia now for some reason this does change to plus eight after you've done it but it still works okay so if you do get that don't panic just go with the flow because it works anyway right so there's Russia so we can click on there and I'm now going to type in my number and now I'm going to hit next now what it's going to do is it's going to afford to authenticate so it says verifying your phone number okay so now what I need to do now is I need to to make sure this number is yours Google will send you a text message so I'm now going to hit yes send and now if I go back to here okay we're waiting for the code to come in now you've got about eight or nine minutes sometimes if it's too long you might have just lost 15 cents you just have to do it all over again I've never had that happen within 10 to 20 seconds you normally get a bleep and, and we're up and running right so it's very very reliable very very reliable so we just wait for the activization code to come in so it's just still searching <clears throat> and what it would do is it will just keep pinging backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Now I forgot how you can fund this. Okay, so if you go to https forward uh, semicolon forward slash forward slash smspva.com, what you basically do is you can fund it with Bitcoin. You can also fund it with money. All right, um, a lot of people use Bitcoin because it's untraceable, um, and then literally you just load it. Oh, I put fifty dollars in here. And I've had this probably for just over a year and a half, and I've only used five, just less than five dollars at the moment. Okay, and I've created quite a few accounts with this as well. So you'll see that forty-five dollars and eighty-five cents. So you've got lots and lots of accounts that you can create by using this very idea. So what we do is we just scroll back here. And we're literally just waiting now. So you see look where I said it's changed to eight. It's really strange how it does that, okay? But it will be all right. It will be okay. So to make sure this number is yours, Google will send your text message with a six-digit verification number. And you see it starts with 966-968-9059. If we go back here, you'll see it's 966-968-9059. So it is right. You've just got to be patient. And it depends how busy it is. The system can be a bit busy. And before you know it, it will just give us the activation code 
This is probably the longest I've ever had to wait for this. I've never known it to be this long. It's normally very, very quickly. But this again is a rental. There is a rental service that you can use for your phone as well, but you have to pay a monthly premium for that. This one basically just gives you access to the phone, which you can use for 10 minutes. So, you know, it's a very quick way of setting up an account authentically. And then if you have any problems with a mobile, you can just say, well, I've just updated my mobile, right? Um, but nine times out of ten, you won't be able to use your own mobile number because you've probably got it linked somewhere else. So we just got to be patient. We'll go back in here and we just wait for it to go. So this is probably the longest that I've ever known this to actually take. And all we'll do in a minute, we'll hear a little beep and we'll be away. So we just literally got to wait for the code to come in. As soon as the code's in, then we put the code into the verification box and then hit verify. And then of course, you know, exactly the same way, then we're gonna set up an Instagram account, which I'll show you how to do very shortly, but we need a Gmail account to do that. That's why we're going through this process of the Gmail account at the moment. So there's nothing you can do, we literally just got to just be patient. And there's nothing you can refresh, there's no point refreshing the page in the corner because it won't make any difference because the code is out, so it's literally just a case of waiting for the SMS code to come in. If it doesn't work, then there's quite a good possibility that you might have to actually reuse another country or you might have to use a different a different thing we'll find out we've got three minutes left so we're waiting patiently what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna pause the video okay so that one didn't work all right it, for some reason so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try a different one so let's try Romania I'm going to scroll through and see how much Romania is going to cost me. This is going to be 50 cents. Okay, so we're going to use this one. So we're going to click on there. Get number. And we're just going to paste this number in like so. And we're going to go back. And we're going to just paste this number in. So we're going to go back. We're going to change this to 40. Which is Romania. go and then we're going to change the number and then we're going to hit next and then we're going to send and then we're going to do is wait for this number to come in so we're going to go back and we're just going to patiently wait now for the SMS to come in for some reason the Russian isn't working so there could be a could be all sorts so we're now in Romania we're trying Romania now course we've just got to be patient now normally it comes in about now you'd normally hear it go bing and it will be there so here we go there's the number it's very very quick so we're just going to copy this number here copy that we're now going to go back to our account and we're going to paste in our verification number and now hit verify get more from your number so we're not going to worry too much about it. I'm going to I'm going to skip all this uh, menu installation I'm going to put it on next uh, don't save the web now you can change this at any stage okay so don't worry too much you can go through this at your own sort of like time and then privacy reminders you can change it next and then I'm just gonna hit confirm and then agree that's it I've now got a gmail account So it's going to open up my Gmail account here. And now I've got a Gmail account which I can sign up with for my Instagram. 
So we've done that to it, and now we're going to do it in Instagram. So we're just going to let this load up. The system's ever so slow at the moment. The whole of the internet is really slow. That could be the reason why. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn off smart features next. Because all I literally want this as is just literally to... And you'll see here that this account is... Hi Amy, welcome. Your account is live. Okay, so this is up and running. That's it. So all I need to do now... If I click on here... I can see that Amy, Amy Bronzy at gmail.com. So Amy Bronzy at gmail.com. This is my email address. Let's load this. So what we can do now is we're going to go back into our Instagram account. I'm going to sign up using this Gmail account. So I'm going to use Amy. Just double check to make sure. So it's amybronzy at gmail.com. Okay, so we're going to go back in here. So it's amybronzy at gmail.com. Password. And login. I don't have an account yet, so I'm going to set one up. I just realised. Yeah, so log in with Facebook. So we're going to do this. So we're going to mobile number or email address. I'm going to use the email address. Okay, so I'm going to use Amy Bronzy at gmail.com. Full name's going to be Amy. Bronson username we're gonna have as Amy Bronzy. Now it might not you might find that it's gonna and then hit next. Now the date of birth is going to be the same, so it's going to be April the 4th, 1983. Oh, that's one one. 1983. Yeah. Okay, now here next. It's going to ask me for confirmation codes, so any confirmation codes we're going to so we're going to do now is look for the code. So we'll go in here. Just going to refresh. What you want to do is make sure you get a book and write down all these. Okay, it's very, very important. Otherwise, what could happen is you could forget your passwords and you're going to be in all sorts of problems if you do that. So any of the confirmation code that we sent to Amy Bronzy, I'm going to resend the code. I'm going to go back here. We've just got to wait patiently for the code to arrive. We go, there's code, so it's 069587. 069587. Next. There we go, one Instagram account. Up and running. And then basically what we do with this Instagram account is we go online. We go online and we basically uh, change it from a private or a personal account to a business account. And then you copy the business. Then you go into your Facebook and you just add your Instagram account into that because it has to be um, a business account for you to add. Okay, so basically you can just look through. So um, let's add some of these. I 
one like that and then hit that one and then it's just going to open it up and then of course you can just set it up do what you need to do to get it all operational and then the idea is that inside your actual thing here okay if we go into profile you see i've got seven people following already so that's crazy click on edit profile and then you just say who you are and you put your link inside this as well okay so basically amy bronzo website so the website could be anything you want really um personally i'd be using let's go in here so just gonna go in here In. Go to pretty links. And then I'm just going to put a manifestation. So mentor of wealth, we use this one. Or abundance. We'll try this one here. So I'm click on here. I'm just going to see what this is going to look like when it opens up. Paste. So this is a link I'm going to use. So what I'll do is go back into here. I'm going to paste this link in here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put and then what we're going to do is we're going to saying there submit and now if we go back in here just making sure that's uh on that I've got a picture to do at some point, but you'll see now inside the profile there will be a link that someone can click on. So now if they go here and they go to your profile, there's a link here. And as soon as someone, someone clicks on this link, it's then going to open up that page which has got call to action inside it. So that's how it works, right? Uh, and then also now we can link this page, this Instagram page. I can now link with this chatbot okay so I could have this chatbot running on it once I've played around with it I'd have to adjust it because this is done as a make money online and the other one is a manifestation so I'd have to put it as a well-being yoga stuff like that okay so um, yeah there's some good training tutorial here hopefully this is going to help you just gives you an idea of what you can and what you can't do with it um, and how this will work etc um, so yeah um, hopefully any questions please comment below but this will give you an idea also the build roll link will be below as well if you're interested um, and as I said to you before anyone who joins build roll gets two thousand five hundred pounds worth of my bonuses um, which they get included with inside um, the build roll that's only for build roll premium and the build roll funnel club okay all the very best cheers